Chapter 3 Shock is not enough to describe how I feel right now. Hindi ko alam kung matutuwa, magtatatalon, o magsisisigaw ako. Seeing Sean entering the house after almost a month is such a great feeling. Sa wakas, umuwi na rin siya. Hindi niya alam kung gaano ko siya na-miss. I was hesitant kung lalapitan ko siya dahil hindi ko naman alam kung paano ko siya i-approach knowing na ang huli naming pagkikita a week ago ay isang nakakapangilabot na eksena. I am uh, Sean! I went to him pero natigilan ako nang basta niya lang ako lagpasan at dumiretso sa kwarto. He didn't even throw a glance at me. Ang bakas ng kasiyahan sa mukha ko ay unti-unting napalitan ng lungkot. Ininit ko ang mga pagkain na kanina ay niluto ko at maya-maya ay lumabas si Sean mula sa kwarto at pumunta sa kusina. He looked at the table where I prepared the food, adobong manok, and fried pork chop. I hurriedly grabbed the bowl of rice at akmang lalagyan ng plato niya. Pero iniwas niya lang ito at kumuha ng sarili niya. Tahimik na kumain siya habang ni minsan o saglit ay hindi ako sinusulyapan. I smiled bitterly. Umuwi nga siya, pero parang hangin naman ako kung ituring niya. It's as if he's all alone in this house, and it doesn't even recognize my existence. My tongue is aching to ask him where he had been, o kung ano ang ginawa niya sa loob ng mga araw na hindi siya umuwi. Kung kumusta ang tinutulugan niya, kung kumusta ba siya. But it hurts. Knowing na wala akong karapatan, kaya pinigilan ko na lang ang sarili ko. Can you please stop staring? He shouted at me. Kaya nabigla ako nang basta na lang siya tumayo at iniwanan ang pagkain hindi pa nauubos sa mesa. Ay, I'm sorry, Sean. U- ubusin mo na yung pagkain mo, lalabas na lang muna ako. Pinigilan ko siya sa braso. Pero agad namang napapasong binitawan ko ito nang tingnan niya ako ng matalim. You know it's rude to stare. Pero bastos ka nga talaga eh, no? Naiinis na napahila mo siya ng muka. Oh, jeez. I knew it was a bad decision to come here again. He threw me a glance like a knife na parang hinihiwa pati kaluluwa ko. Napapahiyang napayuko ako. I, I'm sorry. I quietly uttered. Akala mo ba nakalimutan ko ng ginawa ng magaling mong kaibigan sa akin? I flinched in pain nang basta na lang niyang hawakan ng mahigpit ang pangako. At pilit iniangat ang mukha ko. That woman is my biggest client. Pero dahil sa ginawa niyo, nasira ang proposal ko at hindi ko naisarang deal. He roared and I was literally shaking in fear. Ah, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. Was all I can say. At hindi ko matignan ang nagbabagang mga mata niya. You're a bitch. At talaga nagsama ka pa ng kakampi ha? Ganyan ka na ba talaga kadesperada? I'm your wife! And she's flirting with you! Hindi ko napigilang magtaas na rin ang boses para ipagtanggol ang sarili ko. My wife? Really? Mas hinigpitan niya pa ang pagkakahawak sa pangako at bahagyang nilapit ang bibig sa tenga ko. Then do your job as my wife! He blankly stared at me at talaga namang nalaki ang mga mata ko sa sinabi niya. For real? Am I thinking what I think he's thinking? Namimilog pa rin ang mata ko habang nakatingin sa kanya. Ha! You can't! Tiningnan niya pa ako mula ulo hanggang paa. Napaatras ako ng marahas na bitawan niya ako. Then don't consider yourself as my wife kung hindi mo rin naman magagampanan ng maayos. I'm doing my job as your wife, Sean. Isn't it enough that I always prepare your clothes, your food, and I even set your alarm every morning for you not to be late? I swallow all of your harsh statements against me. I understand you every day. And now you tell me na hindi ko nagagampanan ng maayos ang pagiging asawa sa'yo? I stuttered when it was the wife thing I said. Pero hindi man lang natinag si Sean sa harap ko at bahagya pang napangisi. You know what I mean, wife? Bulong niya pa uli. Kaya mas nagtaasan ng balahibo ko. I should be happy being called a wife by him. But the opposite happened. Mas kinabahan at nalungkot lang ako. Dahil alam ko sa sarili ko na he doesn't mean it. Tula lang tinalikuran niya ako. 
Why on earth do people always focus on the things you aren't capable of giving instead of appreciating the things you've done for them? Ito nga siguro ang sinasabing napaka-selfish na mundo. Nanghihinang napaupo ako sa malapit na upuan at hinilot ang noo ko. Should I give him what he wanted? Talaga bang isusuko ko na ang tanging meron ako? Na halos dalawamputatlong taong kong hiningatan. I can't believe I'm thinking about it. And it's not the way I used to dream kung paano ko isusuko ang pagkababae ko kay Sean. Yes, all my life, I wanted only one man to get my body. And it has always been Sean. It's already 11pm. And if it's a normal night, I would consider it as a peaceful evening where I can set aside my worries and lay on my bed like my life was not a mess. But unfortunately, my mind is in chaos right now. Parang timang napabalik-balik ako sa paglalakad sa loob ng kwarto ko. Jeez, am I ready? Should I surrender it? That was the question that I keep on asking. Part of me wants to surrender my body to Sean, but there is also a part of me shouting no, not yet. I wanted to shout. The fear I'm feeling right now also didn't help. My mind has been clouded by so many questions and the confusion is enveloping me. Sean's eyes roamed all over my body and his mouth was partly open in shock. Me, on the other hand, is also shocked to have made this decision a while ago. I'm currently standing inside Sean's room, wearing a sexy lingerie. Nakulang na lang ay pati kaluluwa ko makita niya. I can sense fire and adoration in his eyes. And part of me is happy with his reaction. He gently grabbed my arm and looked at my eyes firmly. So, you are a slut after all, hmm? Ready to do your job as my... Wife? Pinagdiinan niya ang salitang wife. Kaya mas dumoble ang kabang nararamdaman ko. Focus, Arya. He then harshly pulled me to kiss my lips in a not-so-gentle way. Kinagat niya ang ibabang labi ko. Kaya napilitan akong ibuka ang bibig ko. Only for him to get a chance para ipasok ang dila niya sa bibig ko. I still can't believe I'm now kissing the man I love. Is this what they call torrid kiss that I sometimes watch in some movies? Halos kapusin ako ng hininga nang binitiwa niya ang bibig ko at hinalikan naman ang gilid ng tenga ko. I flinched when it tickled, pero hinigpitan niya ang kapit sa akin para hindi ako maglikot. His kisses went back to my lips before it guided down to my breast. I gulped when he kissed my neck down to my breast. My heart was beating so fast. With all the sensations I am feeling, the excitement in my heart vanished as it registered in my mind that the man in front of me doesn't love me. Muntik ko nang makalimutan na sex lang ang habol nito sa akin. At kahit kailan, ay hindi ako nito mamahalin. If only what we are doing is making love and not just plain sex. Hindi ko na malayang nahubad niya ang mga suot namin. And I bit my lip when I realized I'm standing in front of him, bare naked. Hinapit niya ako sa bewang at hinalikan ng mas mariin at mas malalim. I can't stop my tears from falling. He was treating me like a slut. Na kahit katiting ay walang pag-iingat. He pushed me to the bed and hurriedly positioned himself on top of me. He kissed my sensitive spot and I can't help but to burst in tears. I feel so strange. I feel so cheap. I should be aching for more, but my mind is telling me to stop him. He was about to enter me when I sobbed. I can't take this anymore. No one deserves to be treated like this. He harshly sighed before looking at me in the eyes. Get out, he quietly said, and I can't help but stare at his handsome face. I said, get out. He shouted, kaya dali-dali akong tumayo at pinulot ang damit ko sa sahig bago tumakbo palabas ng kanyang silid. Dumiretso ako sa banyo ko at binuksan ng malamig na shower. In there, I cried my heart out. 
Hindi sana ako magdadalawang isip na isuko ang pagkababae ko sa iyo, Sean, kung alam ko na mahal mo ako. I sat in the cold floor, letting the cold water comfort me as fresh tears keep on coming out from my eyes. What should I do to make you fall in love with me, Sean? Maybe my mother was right. I am a stupid girl. Sean's point of view. I sighed while looking at the door where Abby went out a while ago. Naiinis na napahilamos ako sa aking muka. I don't know, but a part of me is telling me that I should treat her right earlier. I shouldn't be harsh on her. Naiinis na napatingin ako sa kisame. She deserves everything I do to her. She ruined my life for Christ's sake. Pero nang maalala ko ang takot sa mga mata niya kanina, I can't help but feel guilty. The tears that kept on falling from her eyes. The way she trembled while I touched her. I don't know why she acted that way when we both know she's more than a crazy whore. Who's done such stupidity? Hindi niya gagawin ng bagay na nakasira sa amin ni Alondra if she was that innocent. I would be a goddamn liar if I say that her body don't affect me. She has a perfect body. Every man will drool over the perfect shape of her breast and how hot she is with that sexy lingerie she's wearing. I slapped my face to the thought. I should not be thinking this way. Inis na napamura ko nang maramdaman ko ang pagbangon ng init sa katawan ko. I decided to have a cold shower instead. Arya, what the hell are you doing to me? Pareho kaming nagulat. Nagsabay kaming lumabas sa kanya-kanya naming silid. She abruptly looked away. Her cheeks became red. And she's acting as if she would run away any moment. Naiinis ako sa sarili ko dahil mababakas pa rin ang takot sa mga mata niya. And that is all because of me. Nagpunta ako sa kusina, pero nagulat ako nang hindi man lang siya lumapit at kulitin ako. There was food on the table na halatang siya ang nagluto, but I still felt uncomfortable. The way she served me every day is not like how she did now. Basta na lang siya naghain ng pagkain sa mesa, at nang lingunin ko siya ay bumalik na siya papasok sa kanyang silid. Damn, sumobra na ba ako? I decided to not go to work and stay at the house. Plano ko sanang kausapin siya to settle things with her. Napatawa ako sa naisip. Seriously? I'm not like this. Hindi ako nagpapababa ng pride para sa isang tao. Especially the person who have done so much wrong to me. I was back to my senses when someone knocked on the door. Tila hindi yon narinig ni Abby. Kaya ako na lang ang kusang nagbukas ng tinto. Hello, baby! Literal na namutla ako ng pagbuksan ko ng pinto ang parents ko. And my mom's voice echoed in the whole house. Ah, uh, uh, mom, th- dad, bakit napasyal yata kayo? My heart was beating so fast that even my voice trembled. Aba, bawal na ba kami pumunta dito, Sean? My mom raised a brow at me. Kaya naman agad-agad kong niluwagan ang pagkakabukas ng pinto para papasukin sila. Tinanguan lang ako ni dad bago sumunod kay mom na pumasok. Where's Arya, baby? My mom immediately looked for Abby. Pero hindi pa rin ito lumalabas ng kanyang silid. Ay, ay, um, natutulog pa po siya, mami. Natutulog? It's already 10 in the morning, ah. Tinapunan ako nito ng nanunuksong ngiti. Don't tell me, Cloud, na pinagod mo kagabi asawa mo. My mom is indeed teasing me. And I can't help but to remember what happened last night. And the guilt I felt became intense. Mami naman, ano ba yung pinagsasasabi mo? I was always late to wake up, kaya huwag kayong mag-isip ng kung ano. Inis kong baling sa kanya. Eh, bakit na mo lang baby ko? And my mom, being who she is, didn't stop pestering me. Sweetie, stop it. Ayan ka na naman sa pananukso mo sa anak mo eh. My dad, who's been silent since earlier, stopped my mom from teasing me. Sh- she gets up in the morning to prepare my food and clothes, mom. Kaya after that, natutulog siya ulit. She didn't know I took a day off today. Kaya tulog pa siya. My mom embraced her hands tightly in front of her, as if seeing such romantic scenes in her imagination. Napaka-sweet naman pala ni Abby, anak ano? Kaya gustong-gusto ko na siya simula bata pa kayo eh. 
she added, and that made me feel like vomiting. Is she serious? Pero wala akong kinalaman sa ginawa niya sa'yo ha. Baka mamaya niyan, isipin mong nakipagsabwatan ako sa kanya. To get rid of that bitch who never gets tired of wasting your money for nothing. My mom's brows furrowed as she mentioned Alondra. And since then, she never liked her. Because Alondra is a materialistic kind of girl. And I was always there to spoil her with whatever she wants. And my mom doesn't agree with that. Especially when she found out that Alondra was using my money for her own benefit. My mom's reason is that money is not the basis of a relationship. Mom, Alondra is not a gold digger as you thought she was. I said to her, We, che, hindi daw. Buti na lang ang tapang-tapang ni Arya, kaya kayo ang naipakasal. I don't know if it was just me, o talagang masaya pa ang nanay ko na napikot ako ng taong hindi ko mahal. Sometimes I can't understand my own mother. Kumusta naman kayo ni Arya dito, anak? My dad asked me nang maiwan kami sa salang dalawa. O, okay naman po. I quietly responded, I know that Arya caused you some trouble. And that took you apart from the one you truly love. But always remember, anak, that she only did that because she loves you. My dad pat my shoulder at hindi ko maiwasang lingunin siya. She ruined my life, dad. Inis na talaga ako. She did? Maybe a part of you tells you that she ruined your life. But anak, sooner or later, you will realize that she just only saved you from someone who's not meant for you. I believe Alondra and I are destined to be together, but then Abby ruined everything. Kumuyom ang mga kamay ko. Kanina nag-iisip na ako na makipagbati sa kanya at ayusin ang gulo namin. But remembering what she done to me and to my fiancé brings back the pain and anger I felt towards her. Well, everything has its own reason at ang plano lang ng Diyos ang masusunod. Dad smiled at me. Tila hindi apektado sa ipinapakitang inis ko. Just don't hurt her too much, son. It will be too painful when you realize that she's special to you. But it's too late because she already turned her back to you. Punong-puno ng kahulugan na sinabi yun ni Dad sa akin. At hindi ko alam kung bakit ako biglang kinabahan. Arya! Kumusta ka na? Are you on diet? Bakit ang pahit-pahit mo yata? Hindi ka ba pinapakain ng mabuti ng asawa mo? Oh, look at your eyes. Kahit ang laki-laki ng eye bags mo, ang ganda mo pa rin. Parang Armalite talaga ang bibig ni mom. Kahit kailan. She was scanning Arya, pero ito ay tulala lamang na nakatingin sa kanya. It was obvious na hindi niya inaasahang nandito si na mommy dahil sa gulo-gulo niyang buhok na halatang kagigising lang. She looked so cute on her loose Mickey Mouse shirt and without any makeup on her face. Ipinilig ko ang aking ulo sa naisip. Eh, hello po, tito, tita. Tila natauhan si Arya na agad nakipagbeso sa parents ko. O- okay naman po ako dito, tita. Oh, come on, iha. Stop calling me, tita. Kasal ka na sa anak ko, kaya mommy na dapat ang itawag mo sa akin, okay? Nakataas pa ang kilay na anas ni mom. And you should start calling me dad too, iha. Sabat ni dad bago sumulyap sa akin. Hindi naman obvious siguro na gustong-gusto nila si Arya, eh, no? I can't remember this kind of warm welcome nang ipakilala ko si Alondra sa kanila noon. And even dad only smiled at her and left instantly. Ah, eh, opo, sige po, mommy, d- daddy. Nahihiyang sabi ni Arya at hindi ko alam pero parang may humaplos sa puso ko nang tawagin niyang mom and dad ang parents ko. K- kumain na po ba kayo? Teka lang muna po at iahanda ko ang mesa. She said as she hurriedly went to the kitchen. Yan! Yan ang gusto ko sa babae, anak! Ang inaalagaan ka! Che! Mom even pouted her lips at me. Kung saan na lang talaga, alagaan rin siya ng anak natin, sweetie. Dad teased. What na? Hindi mo ba inaalagaan si Arya? Raven Sean Mendola? Mom faced me with such deathly stare. Ah, uh, eh, eh! He's taking care of me naman po, ti- m- Mommy! In fact, he's the one washing the dishes when I do the cooking. She lied. I know she lied. Dahil ni minsan, hindi ako nagugas ng pinggan. Hindi ko na malayang nakalapit na pala siya sa amin. And I didn't expect her to save me from my mom's interrogation. Abay mo puti naman kung ganun, iha. It must always be K 
give and take. Hindi naman pwedeng ikaw na lang ng ikaw ang mag-aalaga. Kahit sino namang masipag na tao ay napapagod rin. Inirapan ako ni mom. Ah, oo nga po eh. <laughs> Even though I know my parents believe what she just said, I can't help but to notice the sadness in her eyes. I know she's thinking na siya na lang palagi at wala na siyang ibang aasahan pa. She forced me to marry her. Ano pa? K- kumain na po tayo? Anyaya niya sa amin. Wow! You cook my favorite food, Arya! Kare-kare! Mom was like a kid na parang nakakita ng cotton candy sa mesa. Agad niyang tinikman ito at kulang na lang magningning sa sarap ang mga mata niya. OA as always. It tastes awesome, Iha! Did you study on how to cook? Parang siya pang nagluto eh. My mom can't stop talking on how delicious it was. <laughs> no po, mami. Natutunan ko lang po kay Manang Luring dahil parati akong nakamasid tuwing magluluto siya. Arya said, Is that so? Napakagaling mo namang mag-observe kung ganon. Talagang maaaninag sa mukha ni mami na nasasarapan siya. Hindi naman po. Maraming beses na rin po akong pumalpak dahil hindi ko makuha ang tamang timpla ng iba't ibang putahe. Pero it's true po that practice makes perfect. She was smiling widely when she said those words na parang may inspirasyon siya para magsumikap pagluto. Tumangutang ko si mommy. But then later on, she asked another question. How's your parents, Iha? Tumadalo ba sila dito? Naglaho ang ngiti sa labi ni Arya at agad uminom ng tubig. Hindi ho, they're busy. Yun lang, sinabi niya. Tell your mom na magbonding naman kaming dalawa sa susunod. <laughs> Parang bata na sabi ni mami. I was sitting beside Arya, kaya naramdaman kong napabuntong hininga siya. I- I- yes po. The conversation went on at hindi mawawala ang matinis na boses ng nanay ko. Kung makipag-usap ito ay parang ang layo-layo mo sa kanya at parating nakasigaw. Dagdag pa na parang kung sinong kumpanyero ang kausap nito. I can't help but to look at Arya na minsan natatawa sa nanay ko. Hindi ko mababakasan ng inis o pagkabagot ang itsura niya at talagang totoo ang pinapakita niyang aliw sa ina ko. I can slowly see the difference between her and Alondra. Although, hindi naman ganito ka-cheerful kung makipag-usap si mommy kay Andrea, ay talagang mula nun, hindi niya rin gusto si mommy. She was transparent on acting that she doesn't like my mother. I thought it was normal in the way she handles my mom. But as I look at Arya right now, I can say that Alondra was being rude to my mother since then. Kahit ano pa palang masamang trato gawin sa'yo ng nanay ng taong mahal mo, ay hindi mo dapat ito binabastos at pinapakitaan ng masama. Napabuntong hininga ako at paglingon ko ay nakita ko si dad na matamang nakatingin sa akin. He looked as if he caught me giving flowers to my crush. What the hell, dad? Kinunatang ko siya ng noo na ikinatawa niya at ikinatigil sa pag-uusap ng dalawa. Oh, what's going on? Mataray na tanong ni mom. Nothing, sweetie. I just remembered something funny way back in the past. Bakas pa ang ngiti sa mga labi ni dad. And what is that? Maintriga talaga ang nanay ko kahit kailan. When you caught me putting flowers in your locker nung college tayo, natatawang sabi ni dad. Napatigil at namula si mami. Tss, stalker! Inis na bulyaw niya kay dad. Kaya pala may nakita rin akong picture ko na nakabikit sa isang libro mo dun. Stalker ha? Natatawang anas ni dad. Kaya pinagahampas siya ni mommy na sobrang namumula na ang muka. Napakakapal ang pagmumuka mo, Marius Menjola, ha? Eh, ikaw naman tong patay na patay kikha niya, Salcedo. Binilatan pa siya ni mom. Parang bata na nagaharutan ng parents ko sa harapan namin ni Arya. Hindi ko mapigilang hindi mapangiti nang makita kong natawa si Arya sa ginagawa nila mommy. Stop it, Marius, ha? Naiingit na ang ating baby boy. Pinandilatan pa ako ni mommy. As if? Bulong ko pa. <laughs> Ayaw pa umamin eh Kansyaw pa ni dad Diyos meyo Ang sarap pagbuli ng parents ko I glanced at Aurea Pero hindi ko alam kung tama ba ang nakita kong inggit sa mga mata niya I feel sad for her Because I noticed that she was not in good terms with her parents Since we were kids She's not that close to her parents Especially to her mom Even though we have the same busy parents But mine never set me aside Unlike her na palaging naiiwang mag-isa. I remembered how she cried to me whenever she felt sad and lonely. 
If only I could do something about it. Ipinilig ko ang ulo ko sa mga naiisip. I shouldn't care or think about her. Hanggang kailan ipagtutulakan ni Sean palayo si Arya? Wala nga kayang pagmamahal siyang nararamdaman sa asawa. Yan po ang ating aalamin sa susunod ng mga kabanata. Maraming salamat po. <laughs>